Welcome back everyone, Ronan here. This is part 6 of my stream on Commander Difficulty Highlights. Now, thank you all, every single one of you that watch, comment, and allowed me to put you guys into my army. With your help, we actually managed to win the Playfire contest. I just found out today. I have the video up for those of you that have not seen it yet. It was, I don't know, it feels pretty amazing. I'm going to wait to see what the full package is, and then I'm going to give it away to those of you that made this possible. Uh, I might keep the t-shirt, though, just for the little bit of efforts I did, and then I can show it off on stream. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. So, as promised, at the beginning of uh, my highlights now, we're going to show off the new additions to our army. This is the program. This is the programmer. This is the programmer, and this is Magic Dash Studios. He has some pretty cool ideas about gaming. Uh, I'm not sure if he has a YouTube profile, but check him out. He's posted a few comments on my uh, videos. Uh, hopefully, things work out for you, Alex. And then we have a friend of Kevin's, Sean Game Hunter. Now, I didn't get many details out of you. I asked you a few times about colors, but uh, I decided to make you flashy. That way you'll stand out. Hopefully you don't get killed in the Iron Man run because of it. But looking forward to seeing all of you guys on the field starting tomorrow. So here I had written down while I was streaming that Mind Control is OP. Now the Big Daddy... And I'm okay. Somebody asked me about using Big Daddy for the name instead of Andromeda. Why not? I'm pretty sure both games are from 2K, are they not? If I'm wrong, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure 2K had their hands in it. Both games. I actually have three. I can see the link. I have all three of them. That was the first pull. Mind controlled. So two Archons and one Big Daddy. And yeah, I just googled it. Big Daddies are from 2K. Bioshock is also a 2k game so here I decided to try out something I launched my first you just heard it the I think it's blazing pinion or blaze pinion on the roof to destroy the roof and then I launched the second one on the roof which you just heard just now to try and see if it's gonna destroy the beacon underneath because I've never had two archons in my group and then you hear it go off the roof is blowing up Turns out, the secondary explosions won't reach the ground. Now, <laughs> you might ask what this is. For some reason, I had an uncontrollable urge to want to play Final Fantasy Tactics. I don't know why, but here's the here's the image. What do you guys? What did you guys see? Did you guys get that sense too? I know it's a far fetch, but I'm surprised I even picked up on something like that. I, it must all be like. I should really go finish my Final Fantasy Hactics game. So it turns out Blaze Pinion, or whatever the real name is right now, I, I can't think of it. So it has no cooldown. Now that door should have blown off, but okay, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll give it a break. So he got noticed. Now I used it because I'm pretty sure the gatekeeper is panicked, ruptured. And I found it kind of funny oh, yeah. that he ran right into the, the pinions. So at least they're going against each other. I love meat shields. They're so awesome. So they landed. They only did 7 damage. I thought there would have been more damage there. But that's okay. It's pretty rare that you're going to hit something with that skill anyway. Now, I love... Psyops that null lance hitting all three is amazing. I don't care if I hit that one that's mind controlled, it's not my guy anyway, so no wounds. Boom! So good! <laughs> that car blowing up so much damage, and plus that gatekeeper blowing up hits the other one. It's like a massive chain reaction. Might as well kill it off to get some XP, so Blaze can level. I'm not actually sure if you get XP or not, but... 
And then it's the first time I'm using and <laughs> and my psyop is just like just out of range. But it's my yeah, first time using Hellfire. The damage is nice. It's nothing like crazy. But look at the effect. Look how high those pillars are. That is insane. I'm assuming that would block off a path. If you were trying to cut off something for some reason, you don't want the enemy to pass through somewhere, that would be the secondary effect of Hellfire. Insane. So I almost forgot this highlight. I skipped by it and I looked back at my notes. So here I do Void Rift, which is amazing, especially since it works on Crystalid so well. Gorgax actually does a decent chunk of damage, and then Mind Control is one of them. And then still 4 damage on the other one. Oh no, that's the one you Mind Controlled. 5 damage on this one. It's crazy. So then I move Star Force. This is where I almost forgot to show it. Star Force was pretty lucky Understood. with the Advanced Warfare, I think it's called. Because you can get a random skill to your build. So I didn't realize this. So he gets a shot. Alright, this turns over. Whatever. Then you see it right there. Death from above. Now that's a sniper skill that's pretty useless on a sniper. Because I don't think you can actually shoot again with the sniper rifle because you've already shot. But because he's not a sniper, he gets to shoot again. Not too shabby. So then he would technically be able to shoot yet again, or now he can move, and he also has Implacable. So on the next turn, he can't take a hit because he's killed something on this turn. So I could move him wherever I would want to. Pretty amazing. That's a really lucky skill to get on a scout. Good job, Blaze. On close, Gates. So yet another reason why Mind Control is OP. I think it was my last character to move. I didn't have any other... Well, I may have had a few other choices. So I just decided to... Uh, mind control that one. I already have mind control on a few. So actually, I used Inspire. Or not Inspire. And I took control of his mind by using the... The ability that I thought it was going to do damage or can do rupture and stuff like that. And nope, I might control it. I didn't even have time to kill the other ones I had links with. I just finished a map. I only killed 8 out of 8. I'm pretty sure it was more than that. I probably mind controlled at least... I'm going to say 6 because of that ability is at least 5. Yeah, yeah that's still a lot though. And you don't have to kill anything and your soldiers are safe. I just saw this picture, it was pretty cool. You had Gorgax there on the right, Nemesis on the far left. Then you have Crater coming in the, the foreground. And that's... Who is that? Oh, that's Blaze, Richard, and Scarlet. Three of these guys were submitted for the contest and got us to win. Thanks. So, Blaze may not approve once again, because I'm tearing up this church. Poor church. Every, every single time I'm in that map, it just gets blown up. Adelante. Now I move Crater, and loot just magically appeared by his feet. How does that happen? And there's nothing there, though. It didn't give me loot. There was, oh, there we go. There's loot now. Like, what is happening? I'll take free loot. That's not, that's not the issue, but it would have been nice to know how many other times are there corpses where you don't know there's loot and you just don't go to it because you don't see the uh, icon. I don't know. Now I'm going to be paranoid. Okay, I know, I know. I keep knocking Overwatch. This is the one time it's a highlight. Nine damage. She has Guardian. She hits it again. Eight damage. Because she's on Guardian, she hits it again. 9 damage again. She, she did 25 damage. Is it 25? Maybe a bit more. Can't do math. Maybe it wasn't full health. But yeah, 25 damage to a Sectopod during an Overwatch turn. That was pretty good. So give your character a really good weapon that can hit 
a character that can actually hit targets, and your Guardian Overwatch can do a lot of damage. So I started to realize that the Stop Wasting My Time mod may actually cause some issues, because you can see them moving out of the way before the skill actually goes off, and then it lost 12 health. So it's at 8 right now. I might remove the uh, app, I don't know, or the mod. So it did 6 damage, so now it's at 14 health instead of 8. Crater keeps doing his magic. The other guy's out of the picture. He's gone. I mind control it. And takes another 6 damage, which brings it to 8. So the game knew, but yet it took so long for the animation to catch up. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Heading to that location. Yeah, at this point, I'd, I've been after that Skulljack for quite a while. So finally got it. I know Scarlet got injured on the fight before, so she wasn't here. So Nemesis takes it. He's so powerful, he even levitates it before he sticks it in her head. So this is actually a Skulljack we needed to spawn the Avatar. Now, he even hacks it to get the small int cash. What a trooper. But by doing this, just remember, now you're going to get an avatar. At least it's a one-hit kill on the codex. The only issue I have with this is you only get one chance per fight. And these codexes are not rare, but they're not very common. Commander, I believe we are seeing something entirely new. An alien species that has so, so far now I was kind of wondering how to deal with it. I don't. I wasn't really ready for it. I strongly advise so I put it in a stasis approach. and wait till next turn. Pretty sure that's the plan. I should really watch my videos before I just do some straight editing. So there we go, stasis. See, he has 19 of 30. I don't think I hit him yet. So 19 of 30 health. Don't know how that happened. Codex is gonna clone with one health each. You can still hear the sectopod in the background. It's either that or a big daddy. I think that one was a big daddy. I'm going. Then blaze with this death from above. Now that I know this, I'm exploiting this. And he gets to get another shot. So good, Blaze. So good. Not too shabby. Nope, not too shabby. And he still gets to move. And he's uh, got Implacable again, so he can move wherever he wants. He's immune from one attack this turn. I probably should have moved him closer so we get a better advantage on this avatar. Now I'm making one crucial mistake right now. Some of you may have already picked up on this. So the stasis wears off. He's at 24 health, so he's still healed. But how did he take damage in the first place? I don't remember. Unless he took 12 damage from the codex being ripped apart, but I don't know. So, the thing I forgot about the avatar is that once you hit it, much like a codex, it disappears. Now I missed, so that's bad. But I have enough stasis. It's not a big deal. I have four Psy Soldier right now. Either four or three. Yeah, four. Gorgax is there too. Let's do this. So I'm like, oh yeah, I got it surrounded. That thing's dead. Almost hunkered down. That's terrible. So I go for my lightning hands. It's an easy hit. And this is where it hit me. He teleports. Where'd he go? Way over there. Like, way out of my range. 
So lucky away. enough, I can still see him with soul fire. Nice. And then he teleports again. So now he's in another uh, now he's in another awkward spot. Whatever you say. So Blaze moves over there. Barely sees him. Chance to hit is garbage. So I use the rocket launcher. Can't get a line of sight on it. Plants are blocking my way or something. So I take a shot. Yeah, I didn't Missed. Get it. Hmm. It's not really much else I can do. I have my sniper that I brought that I'm actually kind of pissed I tried the sniper. It's pretty useless. Gunslinger all the way. So Gorgax goes up. Now this thing's gonna take a big chunk out of me and I just realized that Gorgax is also the one that already used stasis. So I'm running out of options here. But it could kill it. 11. It still has 2 health. At this point, I'm like, someone's, someone's screwed. Someone's dying. And he moves, like, so far away. I'm like, yeah, no way. Sure enough, my gunslinger sees it. I don't know how, like, the luck. So I didn't take a chance. I did fan fire. Fired three shots at it. 44% chance times three. It's a decent enough chance to get a hit on that. There we go. I got really lucky. But that's how you take down an avatar. Pure luck. Let's move already. Now, I love showing off the heavy weapons in this game because they are random to get. But for those of you that aren't sure and you want to try them out, and look at this blaster bomb. Just ridiculous. And the range is insane. Like, just ridiculous. You can't go without that. If you find one, I now have two on my playthrough. It's amazing. That and um, Star Shot Cannon or Shred Shot Cannon. It's another one that's powerful. So this is pretty much the biggest reason that I hate snipers compared to gunslingers is squad sight. They did break squad sight. No need to ask twice. Now, pretty sure I'm gonna show you the range of kill zone, which it's insane, like the range is huge. I'm not quite sure what hit that car to make it blow up, by the way. I have no idea. There was no fire beforehand. So you do have kill zone, which sure, look at it. It's it's insane. Like, unlimited range, huge cone, awesome skill. One thing you have to realize is Overwatch. Sure, you can get a skill that reduces its aim penalty by 10. But you still get a 10 aim penalty. You still get a... 10 aim penalty if, uh, even with a skill. So a sniper has I think 94, 95 chance to hit. So snipers still have a 95% chance to hit or so as a colonel. That's pretty good. Now you factor in the enemy's cover, it starts to be less good. You can throw in some height advantage, that will help you. But the fact that you have to move and shoot, or the fact that you can't move and shoot is a pretty big deterrent for me. Should come up any second now. Oh, it's in the next portion. So you can actually see right here, because he's so far away, he gets minus 50 for, from squad sight. The skill that makes you so you don't have to move as much is actually not that good. 65% chance to hit. He would have had, I think it's a hundred. I think he would have had 135 chance to hit. Now his weapon's not fully upgraded, mind you. Actually, he has the scope. All that he's missing is a chip. I think it's a PCI. That would give him an extra 20 to aim. That would make it a little bit better, but still, factoring that Overwatch on that kill zone, and it's not that good. Go Gunslinger. That's my thoughts on that. So we're nearing the end of the video. So I'm going to show, I don't know, what could go wrong, right? I'm at the end. I'm destroying the enemy. Blaze is opening up the advent, whatever you call it. 
Containment. What could go wrong, right? So, we have our buddy. Confirmed acquisition of the package. Move There's the, the drop zone or evac zone. We're at the evac zone. We're killing them. We got hit maybe once. I think that could have actually been damaged from earlier on Nemesis. Now we're gonna evac. I mean, no reason to be here, right? Everybody out. Moving to position. Now, I didn't clue into those noises. They sound kind of loud. I was not thinking, I was just in a hurry. Mission failed. Like, what? I killed all the enemies. I got the body. Like, what's going on? So I reload. So the game crashed. So I reloaded anyway. I was going to do so because I don't like failing a mission and not understanding why. There's the reason. I left the body on the floor. I did all. <laughs> I killed all the enemies. Made it all the way to the evac zone. Freed the, I'd say, VIP or package, just to leave it on the floor. So I have to thank Gorgax for this. He's the one that went back, like a champ. So I'm gonna leave this highlight just for you, Gorgax, just to give you a good feeling. Everybody else escapes, and this is where he still you hear the thump. That's basically a hit that you didn't do the right job. Rolling. So there goes Gorgax with his war suit. Picks up the guy like it was nothing. Now he's by himself. There's nobody else covering his butt. Maybe Nemesis. And then he runs back. So be really careful, especially when you're going to start Iron Man. Small mistakes like this can be costly. I'm not sure if you get another chance at this mission, if that's what happens. Does it repopulate the enemies? Now I have so many questions to answer myself. And there's Gorgax. Like a champ. Look at him carrying that like probably 250 pound body. Almost like it was nothing. And then, like the hero he is. He evacs with one hand, carrying another body. Like you said, Gorgax, be like Gorgax. Target package in custody. We've Save my ass. Let's get clear of the area. Well, that was all for today. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night, everyone.